Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Real back with another motherfucking review. Yo, this is Snowfall Season 5, Episode 555. I plead the fifth. F I F fifth. Yo, fucking Snowfall is turned up this season. It has not been one dull episode. Not one. It's just been bussing after bussing after bussing after bussing. And I got to say, thank you. Thank you, Snowfall. Because there's some other shows out here, which I thought was going to be like this. <laughs> Tommy, uh, Power Force. That is not. It's just not. It's the, no. So Snowfall is fucking, it built up to a great place. The, it is compelling shit. So we got, what we got? What do we have? Holy shit, where do we start? Let's go ahead and go with the peaches angle. No, 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 no. Let's start with Franklin. Franklin, okay. Franklin Saint. Now, Franklin got some problems on his hands. Somebody isn't trying to wipe him and the fam the fuck out. Can we talk about Jerome, Louie, Sissy, and baby mama out at brunch? discussing business because franklin earlier that day tried to propose to them hey let's go in on the project let's never have to deal drugs again louis even if it's a good idea if it comes from franklin's mouth she's dubbing it no matter what she say no we got our own plans we're gonna do our own thing oh really enlighten me what are these plans that involve my connect to my drugs that you're going to do I'm out of curiosity. What empire do you plan on building? Share. Now, I'm not saying that Franklin has the right to tell them what to do with their money. I'm not, not in no way. Just because he employs them, funds them with the drugs, he cannot tell somebody what to do with their money. So that's just the situation, right? And investing millions of dollars into a potential real estate project is a gamble. It's a huge gamble. All right? That's why Franklin is trying to use as less of his money as possible because any successful businessman knows. If you have an opportunity to use somebody else's money, do it. Your money should be the last thing you put up. You do funds. You do you do investment rounds. You do other shit. So he comes to the family first. Louis dubs him. Couldn't wait to either. She sat in that seat looking like, yeah. What about all that yelling at me at the gas station? Mm. No, we're just not interested. No, thank you. Bye-bye. So that was her nice little fuck you moment. And I guess she deserved it. He definitely came to her. And now you looking for my money. Well played. Well played. So go ahead and take that with you, Franklin. Hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta... If you know you're gonna need somebody's money, especially later on... Maybe you should try. I understand the frustration. I understand what you're dealing with with Louis, but sometimes for the bigger picture, you got to be the bigger man. And heavy is the head that wears the crown. You got to do proper people management. Or you throw all your money in. But whatever. Right? Now, Sissy comes out. She's the she's the she she's the ringer. She's the one that nobody's mad at, everybody respects, and is the the cooler head of everybody. So they all out having a nice brunch. Sissy's chopping it, chopping it up. Explain to him, like, well, if you don't want to do it, fuck it, don't do it. But what's your plan? What's 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 the game? You're gonna be a drug dealer forever, you're gonna be on top of the world forever. How does that work? How do you see that uh that whole thing panning out? I, I don't. But maybe you do, and that's fine. But <laughs> I I if I had to choose a path. I think I should cash my coins in, make a lot of money, and invest in something that's going to make me more money without what's about to happen. Skirt! A brazen, brazen brunch shootout. I'm talking about them niggas in classic drive-by form because there's nothing, you know, Chicago is not a, a place of drive-bys. It's a lot of walk-ups. And catching you in your car parked. If you in Chicago, park cars is the most dangerous thing. Standing out, uh, standing outside on something, niggas is walking up on you. 
They are driving, parking, shooting, and moving. We don't do drive-bys in Chicago. That's a that's some no. You know, LA was the one who invented the drive-by and I haven't I its success rate is not, you know. You do things like this, you kill everybody but the goddamn target. Lady just trying to get some chicken and waffles, somebody just got a mimosa dead. They're not making it home. So it's a shootout. But Louie and Jerome busting back. Didn't hit shit, but goddamn it, the pistols flew. Right? And then baby mama did the gangster shit. Did something that you would hope you could only pray to have one. She may not be y'all favorite looking. Okay? I'm a defender today. She might not be the most favorable in the face for a lot of y'all. May not be the best in the waist. But God damn it, she's a rider. Okay? She said, give me them goddamn guns and putting it in my purse. I'm, I'm uh, hey, they, the fucking residue, the smoke is still steaming. Her lip gloss or whatever in there is fucking melting from the barrels because she just took it and put that hot ass metal in her purse because she's a rider. She said, give me that. God damn it, I got it. Well, what you gonna do? I don't know, but y'all can't have it on you. I'm pregnant and I got a person. Y'all just shot the shit, so just give me the guns, right? I didn't see her plan. It didn't look like it was going to (laughs) work. It didn't. But hey, it's the thought that counts. If if that if that statement ever meant something, it's it's give me them guns. The thought that counts. So they tried to do a smooth walk off. They ain't try to run. They tried to walk off to him. Holy shit. Police pull right up. I got to say the police response time was immaculate. Like they was around the corner. Motherfuckers just got through letting off a full clip and 14 squad cars was there. I don't, I, they had to be in a nice part of town. They couldn't have been on their side of town. It could, now you couldn't tell me. Police response in the black neighborhood? Fucking forget about it. That shit's longer than any DoorDash you've ever ordered, any Uber Eats. That shit say 35, 45 minutes. That's about the police response time. You get fuck out of here. So they was in a nice part of LA. And, um,. They ran right down on Jerome and them. I mean, for one, he had the most colorful shirt on. And he's big as shit. And he's got hella jewelry. He just looks like the niggas that them niggas was trying to kill. I, and you know what? You hate to be, like, prejudiced. But I got to say, if I was a cop, white or black, I pulled up from here in the shooting, and I see some six-foot, 250-pound nigga with a Versace shirt, and and the giant chains, I yeah, unfortunately, I get get on the ground. I, it ain't right. It ain't right. But yo, salute to my favorite comedian, man, Patrice O'Neill. May he rest in heaven. He says some real shit. Sometimes you gotta prejudge. He said, if I see a group of white dudes with shaved bald heads, I'm not finna think, hey. Maybe they're just some cancer patients out for a walk. No, I'm going to cross you. I'm going to get out. Of the de- I'm just going to judge. That. That's real shit. I'm not going to just, I'm not going to be thinking like, oh, well, look at these gentlemen. Maybe they just, you know, it's a cancer treatment walk. Like just, it's hilarious, but it's real. I see you, Jerome. I'm sorry, nigga. Get on the ground. It, I, I didn't feel no way. My blackness didn't get evoked. You know how some racial white shit just evoked the, the blackness out of you like oh that's some bullshit why this brother just can't no yeah, no sometimes you just look at you just look like a target like you look like you was in the middle of some shit so <laughs> it is what it is nigga wet a t-shirt like just tone down this nigga got every chain in the store but um they get them down louis thinks fast like hey let me get my police connect Cause this is finna go bad. They about to search. They was about to search the baby mom. It, it, it was about to be bad. They finna find pistols. And I feel like they should have been worried about the witnesses that was just murdered over there. Somebody had to see y'all shooting back, but I'm not finna poke holes at it. I'm not even gonna do it. It was such a good episode. I'm gonna just forget the fact that it was hella witnesses saw that y'all shoot back, and that was grounds for y'all to be taken away anyway. Where's the guns that you, the people just said y'all shot back with? Where are those at? You know, so we're just going to let that go. I'm not going to dig into it. I guess in a way I kind of digged into it, but I'm not going to go into detail. I'm not going to go big on it. Um, So the piece of shit cop pulls up. He's hilarious. Jerome wants a piece of that motherfucker, boy. 
Jerome was like, man, take that motherfucking bet. You disrespecting my wife. You disrespecting the hood. You coming through. He's like, I want, I want to fuck this man. I felt that Jerome, Jerome be acting. You can't tell me that in real life, Jerome don't like that motherfucker. You can't tell me. Jerome be acting his ass off. I don't know. I don't know. That might be my favorite character. I, I think I got to go on a limb. Jerome's anger and he was not bullshitting. You hear me? So they get out that jam only for, um, then we got, uh, Leon and his crew, right? Had, had, had my mans go grab them, had Javi go grab them some big stupid ass RPGs. <laughs> Just to tell them niggas like, yeah, I ain't going to be needing that. Javi said, yo, my man, relax. <laughs> I don't think you understand. This ain't fucking what you thought this was. It costs money to get this shit over here. I only got this shit because you requested it because I knew these were sold. So I don't give a fuck if you put them under the bed. I don't give a fuck if you never use them. You going to buy these goddamn RPGs. You're going to buy these missile launchers. I don't know what to tell you. I need reimbursement. Don't come to me talking about some, I just need about six or seven, a few shotguns. I know. Yeah, well, put them on the list too, but you getting these motherfuckers right now. Show me the money. Goddamn, I love Javi. Javi, Jerome, and Gustavo. Them, them my niggas, I, I, for real. Javi said, you, you got to be shitting me. Not after I told you, you don't want to do this. Then I go do this, and then you tell me, no, that, no, now you need to pay me. God damn, you got damn right. And Leon better pay up. But luckily for Leon, the bravest niggas on planet Earth, the bravest, came to do a drive-by shooting at a weapons deal. Talk about bringing sand to the motherfucking beach. Now, shooting at some niggas at brunch, probably if I was a criminal and I and I was performing a hit, that's probably the one I'm going to That's probably one I'm going to sign up for. Yeah. If they came to me like, hey, Rail, come here. <clears throat> we got a hit for you. I'm like, word, okay. Who's the target? Yeah, this family. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we finna do a three-prong hit, right? Okay, three different locations, same time. Bang, 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 we getting them out of here. Like, cool, okay. What's what's the spots? One of them, they gonna be uh, at a drug, at a drug transpo, right? They're gonna be exchanging money for drugs. Okay, that sounds good, okay. One of them gonna probably be at brunch, Eating chicken and waffles. I can do that. The other one is going to be at a weapons deal. They're going to be buying RPGs and, and they, I'll be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, stop right there. You're doing a hit at a, with RPGs and missile, what? We supposed to be shooting at niggas that have more, that have guns, like, like big guns for sale, like that's going to be probably armed. No, I'm not, I'm not going for that ride. No, thank you. So, salute to them niggas. One of them got popped. All right. Leon caught one. It looks like. It was a lot of shooting, but Leon looked like he caught a body. Searched him. Ain't got... Now he's just a no-name. Don't nobody... So, we don't know. At first, I thought it was some Scully shit that was in red. Two of the cars was in red, but I think the one that came for Franklin, which is the which is the spiciest shooting... The Franklin one, that's why I saved it for last. The, the Franklin hit? Spicy. Van. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a van. We need the van with six six motherfucking soldiers in it. High power guns. Three people with handguns. I like them odds. They come busting that, tearing that shit down. Teddy got the fuck out of there. He took one to the shoulder and said, you niggas is on your own. I was dying laughing. Teddy said, oh, shit. <laughs> he said, oh, fuck me. No, I'm out of here. Get me in this car. He ain't say, Gustavo, get in. He ain't say, Franklin, get down. That nigga said, oh, this shit burned. I'm scared. <laughs> he took off. Teddy ain't shit, boy. And this is the same. T Teddy was the hitman. You remember he cleared out that house? Him and Gustavo went on that hit clear out the motherfucker that cartel oh my god yeah teddy good when he's sneaky teddy good when he got the drop on you <laughs> but you pull up spraying what well, hey yo you know who teddy is 
That nigga Reed is. That nigga's Patrick Mahomes. That's who he is. You get you get you give Teddy and, and Mahomes some time, they're gonna tear you apart. Right? They're gonna throw it 80 yards. Boom, touchdown. They're gonna uh, no look. They got a lot of shit for you. But you apply pressure, you send the hitters at them. Oh, they crumble. They fold like fucking lawn chairs. Whoosh. Reed is the goddamn Patrick Mahomes. He'll get you a Super Bowl if he got the drop on you. You give him a little time, he got you. But you apply that pressure, you get to shooting at him? Shit. Shit. We going home. <laughs> That's just what he did. But Franklin was a G. Them niggas was still sitting there shooting. They, nobody left. Only the person left was Teddy. <laughs> Them niggas was there for it. Franklin got the car, got one of the guys, boom. Made Gustavo get in the car, made sure Gustavo was good. Get here, nigga. Come on, Oles. Boom. He skirt off. Car damaging. He hit them. Right, Franklin. Boom, back into their ass. Get them off him. Take off car dying. And they end up in the hood. Now, this is showing you the L.A. is thick into the gang shit. Now, before, you know, it was just like that nice 70s. Oh, everybody selling drugs, everybody partying, everybody happy. You know, it might have been a little tension between black and brown relations, but there was no gang shit. It was just a little something, something. We saw the building. But then Scully and them, and then Leon's people, you start seeing the gang shit. Now the Mexican gangs is involved. Oh, shit. You do not want to be a nigga on that side of town. Lord. Franklin and them running. And get pressed quickly. Hey, what's up in that bag? Fuck, get off this bag. They got three million on them. Dipped off, got the bags. Three million in cash between two bags. Get pressed. Franklin like, oh, okay. You motherfuckers tough? With no no, no bullets in it. Up the thump of niggas scattered like roaches, except for that one young boy. He said, man, what you think I'm is? Fucking, like, new to this? I'm here, motherfucker. What's up? Franklin, like, oh, word. Oh, I'm about to fuck you up. And then <laughs> Gustavo was like, hey, ooh, 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 look over there. So the motherfuckers with bats took off and the motherfucker with pistols stepped up. I said, God damn. These niggas are. I ain't gonna lie, that's strategic. That's like some fucking. That's like some Civil War shit. That's like some. No, that's like some medieval war shit. Send off the niggas with the swords and shit first, and then send off the niggas with the swords and shit first, and then you know run the cavalry in later. They had levels, they had levels, how they was doing it. But uh, Gustavo said, "Run, niggas took off." I was like, "Holy shit!" Found a little 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 crawl space. Oh my god, I don't know. I think when. Because I'm like, are they finna wait till nighttime? I was like, I definitely wouldn't want to be out there at nighttime. So I was like, how the fuck they finna get out this situation? But um, when he said lead the money, I was conf- I was like, that could be a good and bad thing. This clearly looks like somebody can go in and out of there, no problem. Like somebody has. I didn't see no food or nothing. Like no empty papers or nothing. But this looked like something, maybe a kid, you know, playing in a neighborhood would run in or they playing hide and seek and see these bags. Like it's, you never just want to leave three million unattended. Like, you got to kind of tell I would have probably buried it, if anything. Like, okay, let me, let's dig under this house and then, like, cover it or something. Like, you just got two duffels right there where anybody could just walk in. It just seemed like, I don't know if that money going to be there. But, yeah, I feel them, though. You don't want to be like, okay, let's go grab the money. And now it's definitely taken. So, yeah, they was in a fucked up situation. Wrong side of town. No weapons. And hella money. Recipe for disaster. And Franklin is going through financial shit right now trying to get this thing off. That's the last thing he needed. You feel me? So I'm like, wow. What a perdinky dink. But um, everybody was finally able to link up. They made phone calls. Uh, Franklin needed help. Uh, but they was getting shot at. So now the whole thing is where's Waldo? And now everybody's asking about Peaches, but now onto Peaches. So Reed ends up at some creepy nurse lady house who just decides she just gonna fap it to this man that she just did surgery to i was like this this is some creepy shit but was anybody was any of the fellas kind of like this is creepy but i don't know it's doing something for me (laughs) 
Don't leave me out on the ledge. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be looking at real different. I right, come on now, fam. One of you, come on, bro. Don't leave your boy out there. One of you niggas was like me, did not know how to process that. Come on, fam. She sewing him up, and she like, yeah. He fading in out of consciousness. Did she decide she gonna take ten and just fap it on the corner real quick? Y'all can't, just, boy, fellas. I, I ain't, I ain't playing. Cause I'm probably gonna get killed, but hey, I'm gonna get killed for this. But y'all, some one of y'all better hold me down. I know one of y'all was as confused as I was. You ain't know whether you want to be like, what the fuck is wrong with her? And, mm, I'm kind of feeling it. I'm, I'm liking the energy. I don't know why it was a creepy turn on. I don't know. Don't don't do that. I swear to God, one of y'all better get in the comments and hold me down. That's all I know. I will shut this shit down. Don't do that to your boy. <laughs> don't leave me out. Don't leave me out on the ledge. All right. So, yeah, that was weird. But everybody was saying Peaches had AIDS. That's the whole thing I was getting to. Because she was like, oh, you know, this other. She was like, I'm a little finicky about blood. One of the nurses called AIDS without the fun at the thing. So that opened the door for AIDS. And now Peaches is gone sick. And y'all told me Peaches got AIDS. So, yeah, that's looking like verified. Because now everybody's like, well, where was Peaches? Where was Peaches? And then Jerome's get to send to go see what's up with Peaches. So he about to get easy eat. He about to die from the from the bug, as they call it. So uh, there's no surprise there. That's not really a hot take. Y'all knew it uh, up two episodes ago. So I was just like, wow, what what forms are, are y'all in Reddit or something? Y'all be coming in here. I'll be knowing shit. Y'all just be telling me like, yep, this is what it is. This is what, I'm like, where the fuck are y'all getting this info from? Link me up. Let me know. But I guess it won't be no fun in that if I knew, because then, you know. What's the fun in knowing? You know, don't you want to hear somebody not knowing shit, thinking they know some shit? That's half the battle, right? Yeah. But um, so it ends with uh Franklin and Gustavo in some creepy white dude's house who has stuffed exotic animals and live exotic animals. But I died laughing when um Franklin was drugged up. He's like, he gonna stuff you, Gustavo. He gonna stop. I was like, pause, but that was hilarious. Is you gonna stuff us, man? You gonna kill us and stuff us? Man, them niggas woke up next to a tiger like fucking Scarface, but he got a tiger in the goddamn backyard. But I guess it's all about how's Franklin gonna get loose? How they gonna find Franklin? I'm thinking, I think I'm thinking he's gonna offer them, he gonna, he gonna explain to Buddy as best he can the situation. Like, no, we weren't trying to rob you. It's not that. We got a lot, of, we got access to a lot of money. Give us a ride. Help us. You got a weapon? Bring your tranquilized darts. Whatever. Drop us off here. We'll pay you handsomely. We got you. So I think he'll get out of that situation like that because he didn't decide to kill him. And he was kind of fucking with him a little bit. But yeah, that's that's some creepy shit. To just of, of all houses, you know. But Buddy thinks they somebody else who he told to stay away. So I think he'll... I think they'll talk their way out of this one. But it was a fucking one hell of an episode. Snowfall is busting. Uh, so the whole thing is now, who is targeting them? And I know one of y'all know, because y'all know everything. So who's targeting them? Who's targeting Franklin? Let me know. Um, I'm thinking... I don't know. I'm thinking it's some cartel shit. It's either some cartel shit or some government shit. Is somebody trying to wipe Reed and his uh I think I think it might be some government shit. They ready to stop this whole thing. And what's the best way to cover it up? Murder all people. Don't you don't arrest the people that you gave drugs to. You know, you don't want them to have their time on stand. You don't want them looking into nothing. So you just clean house, you murder everybody. Right? Can't nobody leave with uh, somebody should have known that. So I feel like this is a government hit, but you know, what do I know? Right, and as far as Sissy, thank God, Sissy is not Alton. She said, "I said I help you get Reed killed. I ain't say shit about recording my son, the, having dirt on you. What you need to hear my son's conversation for to get Reed? What we need to know more about his business, and so we could better understand Reed. Understand this, nigga. No, understand that. So salute to Sissy for that. At least, at least she ain't fall for that okie doke. She is not a dumb woman." I said, God damn, thank you. But uh, this was a hell of an episode, man. Getting them comments, man. And fellas, don't let me down. I swear to God, don't you do that to me. But uh, 
Protect your health, yourself, your wealth, man. Your boy Rail is out of here. Peace.